Hey, this is Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. Thanks for watching. So I'm talking about the right heel in the golf backswing. Now, if you're someone that doesn't feel quite in balance in your backswing, feel like you're kind of pushing a little bit more towards your toes, just not feeling comfortable, the right heel feeling in your golf backswing is going to make a huge difference in your golf game. This is a real game changer for you and it's so simple. It doesn't matter what handicap you're on now, whether you're struggling with your game, you're frustrated, you cannot make a good backswing, this will help you out. It's absolutely brilliant. So let me get over a ball and I'll show you here. So from down the line, now the key with this is, is the right heel. So for, this is obviously for a right hander. Lefties do the opposite and it's the same for your driver principle as well. I'm using a seven iron here, but it's the same for a driver. In any good golf swing, you look at any of the pro swings, you probably can't pick it up on TV, but I guarantee you when they turn, most of them, they're getting a little bit more pressure into their right heel in their backswing and I'll tell you why they do it. I'll get up over one here. If I do the opposite of that and I get more pressure into my right toe, this is what happens. If I go back, you'll see it's really hard to pick up. I'll show you again. If I draw a line right down the edge of my, my butt line here, if I put too much pressure into my toe, and that's exaggerated, but you'll see that my butt pulls away from that line there. Now why that is important, because normally what happens, you may have seen yourself on video do this. If you do that too much there, invariably on the downswing it'll get worse and you'll just continue to stand up tall and you'll come down very steep, your arms will extend, you'll get those scoopy flippy shots, no power, no compression, a lot of inconsistency. So, I'd like to see you do the exact opposite, which is obviously getting more pressure into that heel. And what that does, as we turn away, you'll see it pushes that, gives you that hip depth, which is talked about a lot in golf. So important, when I get that depth, it makes the downswing a lot easier. I've got more room, I've got more room here to come from the inside. I can hit drawers, can obviously hit a dead straight, but it gives you that room to really make better contact with the golf ball, whereas getting weight into those toes is the exact opposite, really makes it difficult. So let's have a look from here. Probably won't show it as clearly, but my feeling is that I'm getting weight into the heel. Even that, that little instep of your right foot, that's where I want the pressure in the backswing. So if I turn, that's where I want that pressure. Helps you make a bigger turn, a better coil, which will flow down through to your downswing. And the big thing it does, the absolute huge thing, I talked about that standing up, that's called early extension. That's pulling your butt, your pelvis, like this, away. It's just a killer in the golf swing. I've spoken about this on other videos. You may have seen yourself doing it. Not many pros early extend. Basically, we need extension in the golf swing, and I'm gonna cover this in some upcoming videos. The extension part is really important, but where you might be guilty, or certainly where I see a lot of golfers, they do the extend part too quickly before they rotate, and you end up like this your hips stall out. But all this can be traced back to that right heel in the backswing. If you get that right, I promise you, that will help eliminate that early extension if that's something that's harming your game. So let's have a look. So we're putting that pressure into that right heel. I'm getting that hip depth there. That way I can get my hands in a better position here. Helps you shallow the club as well. Helps you shallow it. If I get too much weight in the toes, it can be very easy to come down steep. But if I get more depth there, I feel like I'm sitting back more here. And I've just got more room to come through. Makes a huge difference. So here's something you can practice. You don't have to use a club. You can use almost anything for this. Put this on your 
your heel. I've seen this shown before for the downswing, but it's effective for the backswing as well. Now, if I get into position here, if I was to get too much weight in my toes, you see that club will just drop off. But if I can flip that around, let's keep it in the air. Works best with a sand wedge and make my swing and really feel like I'm getting a little bit more pressure and just keeping it in the air. You can actually hit shots like this at the range. And then as we come down, you'll be really changing that pressure. We'll be going from your right foot to your left. And then eventually that will drop off like that. Makes a huge difference in your overall goal swing, just having that focus just on that heel. So if you think this will really help you out, make sure you smash that like button. I really appreciate that. Now I've got something important coming up that you need to have a look at. Let's have a look at it now. Now I spoke about obviously the heel in the backswing, but did you know getting more pressure in the heel and the downswing is super key as well? Because if you can switch those rolls around, in our backswing we want more on the right heel. An easy way to make a really simple golf swing, I know you can do this, on your downswing, shift the pressure into the left heel of the front leg. When you do that, it helps you really stay in posture, get great balance, it helps you shallow. So right now, I've shifted pressure to that left heel. I can come down on a really good path through to the golf ball. So a great feel I was taught in my golf swing was heel to heel. So it's heel in the back swing, heel and right heel in the back swing, left heel in the down swing. Great way to get even pressure in your feet, stay in posture, eliminate early extension, make a more balanced golf swing. So just remember that next time you play, go to the range and just think, heel to heel. Now obviously you will get pressure onto your toes, you've got to finish that way because we've got to go heel to heel and then we're up under our toes so that has to happen but if you remember those keys I promise you that will make the golf swing so much easier for you. Now what will also help you out, I've got a video coming up talks about how you can make a shorter back swing and get more distance. So this one's really important. Make sure you watch it. It's coming up.